it's like um, it's hard to put a, a it's like a, a, a whistling sound that gets louder and reduces in sound different times now it can be very bad at night time and in the morning that's at, when it's at its worst but other than that now during the day you just hear it and like if you went into a place where it was loud music like a band or something playing it would be it'd be bad then that was at its worst now when I went to the doctor but he said there's nothing you can do with it I, as I said he put on earphones listen to some light music try and knock yourself out at night time with it but you know that's it well the first the first part of the trial the sounds that were coming through on the machine itself were like I, I thought I'd kind of have to remember the sequence of the noises so I found that kind of interesting and I was paying a lot of attention to that and after about four weeks that's when I started to notice that there was a bit of a, a change in the tinnitus. Well, I used to try and do it. At, uh, I used to try and do it at the same time every day, and I would do it around half nine, ten o'clock for half an hour, and then in the evening time from half four to five, I would try and fit it in around that time. Every day. Now I was away on holidays, and I brought it on holidays with me into the out to Spain, and I used to do it in the morning time, and then same in the evening. I was fine, no problems, yeah. I suppose most of the times when I was when I was out on my bike, I would have noticed at most then that there was an improvement. I didn't hear it as much because you had the wind blowing in your in your face on the bike. So, like I said, I'm not hearing this now. That, that was the, mo the moment when I realised then that there was a kind of a, a difference, yeah.